We begin with new developments this afternoon after two National City police officers were under attack and shot at in National City. Now those bullets rang out after they tried pulling over a car this morning and we've just learned that wanted shooter is the suspect in the shooting of a Chula Vista bounty hunter. Fox 5's Jason Sloss is live in National City with the new developments. Jason. Hey Maria, while well, the search continues for the man who shot at two officers just outside this Jack in the Box off Roosevelt Avenue, police just cleared the scene about two hours ago. Very dangerous what played out early this morning, and as you mentioned, police say it's the same guy wanted for another shooting in Chula Vista just a few weeks ago. National City Police are looking for 36-year-old Christopher Marquez, suspected of shooting at two officers. Around 2.30 this morning, police spotted a stolen white Honda Civic, which pulled into a jack-in-the-box drive through off Roosevelt Avenue. Officers quickly put the restaurant on lockdown, got the parking lot cleared out, then initiated what they call a high-risk stop on the Honda. Police say at first, the driver and a front passenger, both women, were cooperating. Then the passenger in the back suddenly jumped out and took off, running to the 7th Street on-ramp to I-5. Police say the man then turned and shot at officers multiple times. Officers returned fire, and the gunman got away across the freeway. So I was sleeping. I heard like 8, 10 shots. You think it was that many? Uh, yeah, and that's it. And did, did you look outside? Did no, you... I went back to bed. <laughs> did you know what it was? I thought it was firecrackers. The officers were not hurt. It's unclear whether the gunman was hit. Police say they later recovered a handgun from the side of the freeway. Police spent around 11 hours gathering evidence and searching the area. Marquez is also wanted in the city of Chula Vista, where two weeks ago he's believed to have shot a bounty hunter in the arm and leg while he was serving a search warrant for Marquez's arrest. So he's got a felony warrant for his arrest for that incident, as well as several other felony warrants from previous incidents. And police say the two women in the car, one was arrested. She already had a warrant out. The other remains in custody. No word on their connection to Marquez, who's considered armed and dangerous. Anyone with information on his whereabouts is urged to contact police. Live in National City, Jason Sloss, Fox 5 News. All right, Jason, thank you.